Well, the carbon tax is costing Canadian farmers almost a billion dollars a year. It has continued to go up year after year. But that's only what we're seeing in direct costs. They're also seeing higher costs in fertilizer, on fuel, on feed, on every input that they're putting in to their farm operation, on machinery, on employment. All of these things are seeing their prices go up. On trucking, we've just heard uh, as a result of the Canadian Trucking Association has said that the impact of the carbon tax is having on their industry alone is $4 billion by 2030. I had Bison Trucking, not a huge trucking company, but a, a fairly substantial trucking company in Western Canada. Uh, one of their owners is a constituent. Bison Trucking paid $7.8 million in carbon taxes last year. That's one trucking company. They're halfway through this year, and they're already paid $4.5 million in carbon taxes. So when their year end is done, they're going to be paying close to $10 million in carbon taxes. That is just one trucking company, and they are passing those costs onto the consumer. So yes, it is very difficult to, to square the circle that the Liberals say that the carbon tax has no impact on food prices. Give me a break. Of course it does.